All right, guys, so the next tool I want to discuss is the Graduate Filter tool, which you can access by clicking this Graduate Filter button, going to the Tools menu right here and clicking Graduate Filter, or hitting the hotkey M from any module within Lightroom. So we're going to hit M to bring down the uh, Graduate Filter menu dialog. Now from here, we're going to create different develop settings depending on what we want our uh, graduating filter to do. And then we're going to drag the filter from one side of the image across the image. And it's going to basically be more, the effect is going to be most powerful at the edge that we start and then fade off to the edge where we finish. So the graduate filter can be used for a number of things. It can be used for corrections, like for you know pulling down the brightness and, and tone of a sky, and it can also be used artistically. So let's show you guys how to use it first to pull down the sky and then how to make these flowers a little more vivid. So let's do this. We're going to adjust our exposure to negative 0.66. That's fine. I'm going to bring my contrast up to probably maybe like 50. I'm going to bring saturation up to about 10 or 12, whatever you guys want. Adjust my clarity up a little bit as well. So let's say 40, just to kind of bring out a little bit of the detail. And now I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to hold shift so that it, if I hold shift while I'm dragging this, it's going to keep it straight. If I don't hold shift as I'm dragging, it's going to, it can flop to either side. I'm going to hold shift so it stays straight and I'm just going to drag it down until it reaches the top of his head, just basically till the effect reaches the top of his head. So once I see his head kind of darken a little bit, I'm going to stop there. And now I'm going to adjust the brush so it's not quite so powerful. So to adjust any brush once it's been painted, all you got to do is select that brush by selecting this little uh, dot right here. And then I'm just going to adjust the item up a little bit for the exposure to make it so it's not quite so dramatic because it's a little bit too noticeable. I'm also going to pull down the uh, contrast a little bit. We'll actually adjust up the, the saturation a tiny bit because I want it to be a little more saturated. And that's great right there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click New to create a new graduated filter. And we're going to start from the bottom now, and we're going to create one to kind of make these flowers more vivid. So to do that, I'm going to adjust my exposure again down. We're going to go to negative 0.8. Um, contrast, I want to be a little bit higher. Saturation, I'm going to have a little bit higher. I want it to really pop, so I'm going to adjust my clarity all the way up to 100. Also add a little bit of sharpness to it. And we're going to go over artistic use as well as common uses for fixing things uh, with using the graduate filters later. So this is kind of a, just a brief overview. So I'm going to drag from the bottom up. And you can see how it just kind of enhances the tone and color of these flowers. It makes it just pop a little more. And from here I can make additional adjustments. So I want it to be a little bit brighter. I don't want it to kind of fade off or uh, to be too dark at the bottom. And that's good right there. So we can click on Graduate Filters again or hit M to bring us out of that dialog box to remove our filter buttons. And then uh, I can hit Before and After. We can see what it looked like before and then after our graduated filters. Now if I want to make any adjustment to these filters, I can click back into my Filters menu or hit M. And I can click on any one of these. And I can, if I hit Delete, it's going to remove that uh, filter that I created. Or I can also adjust it by just adjusting my sliders again. I can remove both of these filters by hitting the reset button. But let's say, let's say I just want to remove the sky one. Well, I can just select the sky button right here and just hit delete and it'll, it'll, and it'll remove that filter only. All right, guys, now let's say I really like this setting that I made down here for these flowers. Well, I can save this as a preset by just going to this effect menu right here, selecting uh, save current settings as a new preset, and I can say uh, flower enhancer or whatever I really want. And I hit create. And then it saves the effect as Flower Enhancer. Now if I want to adjust this Flower Enhancer effect, I can adjust it, uh, make whatever changes I want. Maybe I want more contrast, a little bit less. Uh, I don't want the exposure to go down. I want a little more vibrance. And then I can just click Update, and it's going to automatically update that preset with the new settings. Now Lightroom does come loaded with a bunch of presets, and we're also going to make additional presets as we go through, and we use the filters uh, to make corrections as well as to make artistic edits. So let's reset all of our filters and then let's go to our next tutorial.